With today's handyman job, I'm going to try and repair some plastic. And plastic is um, typically difficult to repair, I would say. Uh, I don't know of good glues. I don't know of good um, welding techniques or solvents. Um, generally speaking, for, for the wide, and there's a wide variety of plastics. So, I was thinking the other day, fiberglass, you know, I really like fiberglass. And um, so I'm going to try to use fiberglass to repair this. Uh, this is a, you know, flashlight, and it's busted. And what I've already done, I put uh, masking tape inside there so that the fiberglass won't drip in. And uh, uh, I'm gonna I'll rough it up. I'll put the and make the stuff. I'll put the mesh on it. You put a put a liquid layer on. Put the mesh on. Put another liquid layer on, and we'll see. And then I've got another one too. Again, it's going to be a different type of plastic. I'm not sure what these are. They don't generally tell you, you know, what type of plastic it is. This one, they're similar in color, but this one's uh, harder more more brittle like well this one's brittle too actually they're, they're kind of similar uh, this one has a little different a slicker feel to it uh, I'd say this one's more flexible although it's a little br it's brittle too that's why it broke so I'm going to try and repair this too actually the kids were sitting in it and broke it there's another break here too somewhere and again, this isn't necessarily cost effective, but I get a kick out of it. Oh, I got a garbage can too, speaking of not cost effective. But um, this, this in particular, I think will be easy to repair. Uh, rough it up, put your mesh on, put the liquid on. I think this will fix up pretty easy. This here, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how. Oh well, because there's a certain amount of strength involved, and then there's a bust here too. But I'll give it a try. I think what I'll do maybe is just take, I think I'll just take photographs as I progress, and um, I can just patch in the photographs on the video, but as well as anything. So this shows how I roughed up the surface be, uh, so the fiberglass would stick to it. You call the giving it tooth and it's pretty standard procedure for any kind of um, painting uh, gluing operation. Um, generally speaking the rougher the better uh, although uh, you know if you're painting a car you know you're not going to do it like that but that's a little different situation. So here it shows I roughed up that um, <coughs> basket I think I had to use a uh, hand just use some coarse hand sandpaper on this I really didn't do a very good job um, but I didn't you know I'm not spending a lot of time on this stuff um, you wouldn't want to spend a lot of time on it you know sort of wouldn't be cost if it's barely cost effective as it is so this shows how I hung this one up after I painted the fiberglass on and um, it dripped pretty badly and you know it looks terrible but <coughs> I ended up I can't remember if I I may have put another no I don't think I put another layer on it I just sanded all those goobers off and uh, it's fine it worked fine um, of course there wasn't anything where it needs to look good uh, no need at all for it to look good and it doesn't it's not sticky or anything I didn't I could have painted it but I didn't paint it so more or less the same here with this uh, laundry basket. Uh, this is the crack, and uh, it it uh, did repair really well. Put the mesh on it, and uh, we're using it. Uh, we're using it now, and uh, same with this. Of course, this repair I was more concerned about, but it worked fine. Um, again, I did sand off all those goobers, so that and you know particularly you wouldn't want your hand to get scratched. So it all, I scanned, sanded it all s uh, smooth and uh, nice. So it's it's really not noticeable to speak of.